Hey what's up YouTube, welcome to Trending Reviews. So in my previous video I gave you a quick overview of the differences between the Huawei P20 Pro and my Samsung S9 Plus. So today I'm going to be showing you a quick comparison of various different photo situations in low lighting, in bright lighting, in just portrait modes and so on. Seeing which ones are better and giving you a opinion at the end to see which I prefer from using both of these phones. So let's get straight into it. Okay guys, so I'm going to run through all of the different comparisons in the pictures. So let's start off with the selfie portrait modes. So the front facing camera portrait modes are on. So this picture here, you can see that the P20 Pro has got a little bit of a brighter image. I can see that the S9 Plus is has a little bit more natural feeling to it. If you look around the edges, I think you can see that both of them have done a very good job. Some might say they prefer the P20, but I actually prefer the S9 Plus in this situation because it just looks a little bit less sort of photoshopped, enhanced, that kind of stuff. Now, just to note that the beauty mode was on level 3 for the P20, so that's on this picture. Going into the next one, I have now turned off the beauty modes on the P20 Pro. So looking at the focus here on the front facing camera, I can see the S9 Plus for me is a better option. It's more sharper it has more natural feeling to it so the s9 plus wins on that one and another front facing selfie portrait mode i can see here the p20 pro outside in the sun it has done a really good job there's better background blur on the s9 plus it just feels a little bit more to the point and it's more natural i think both of them look really good in terms of the background blur, I do like the one on the S9 Plus a little bit better there. Okay, now I'm having a look at the back camera portrait modes. So here, one thing to note is that the live focus mode on the S9 Plus, which is essentially the portrait modes for Samsung, they always zoom in for the pictures. So once you switch to live focus, you get a very close up photograph of the subject. So here I am sitting outside in the sun. I have my green smoothie. I'm gonna say the P20 Pro is better at taking portrait pictures on the back camera. That's what they've built this phone for, is the quality of the camera. It's sharper. They don't zoom in when you switch to portrait mode. It keeps it at the natural distance. I really like that. They've done a really good job blurring the background and reaching the edges of my cap, my body, shirts, even the chair, etc. So for me, the P20 Pro wins on that one. Here's another one of me sitting inside a pub. Now, this one you can tell a massive difference so most of my portrait modes will probably be inside some places maybe restaurants and different people's houses and so on so i wanted to get a camera much like the google pixel where it's very good in terms of the portrait mode to pick out the quality of the subjects and equally get the background blur perfect and the p20 pro wins on this a lot of the time when you look at the live focus modes on the S9 Plus, you'll see that it's very grainy. It does wash the picture a little bit. It doesn't keep it consistently sharp with the pictures. Even looking at the colors on the P20 Pro there, you can see the table, the bench that I'm on, it's just sharper and it just outweighs the Samsung on that one. So for me, the portrait mode on the back camera will always win on the P20 Pro. Okay, so let's quickly have a look at the back camera auto modes. So here's one of just a, a tree with some buildings in the background. I think for me personally, the P20 Pro looks a little bit sharper. You see more details on the floor there. You can see a little bit more dust and stones and that kind of thing. The sky is a little bit brighter blue. I think the colors on the windows and the building at the background, I think they stand out a bit better on the P20. So overall, I think because of the lighting, the adjustments, it's done a really good job on the P20 Pro compared to the S9 Plus. This next one is just me with my jeans. I just wanted to see what it would look like focusing on something close up using the auto mode. And it's a very close comparison against these two. I think the one on the S9 Plus, the color on the jeans look a little bit brighter, a little bit better. I think the blur is much better on the P20 Pro. Now this one, I'm gonna give it to the S9 Plus. I just think it looks a bit sharper, brighter, um, better focus and overall just slightly beats the P20 Pro on that part. Here's another one of a market. Just wanted to see in the sun the type of colors that will come out and I think the S9 Plus wins on this one. If you just look at the guy on the right hand side, 
in sort of the maroon top. I think his top and the colors in the clothing in the background is more sharper. I think there's more washed out in the P20 Pro. So the S9 Plus for me wins on that part. Now going into interior lighting, a little bit of a darker atmosphere. This is just a restaurant I was at. So it's very close. It's minimal differences between both of them. I can't really say which one would be better for me. But overall, I think it's very close and that both of them have done a really good job in that sense. Now, let's have a look at the auto mode for the front facing cameras. So here I am in the park. I have the sun facing directly at me. So this should be a really good quality photo. Now, for me, the S9 Plus wins this on the selfie modes because I can see more of a natural color to it. The grass in the background is a little bit greener, whereas the P20 Pro in auto mode, it tends to brighten the pictures up a little bit too much i think that doesn't look very natural i think s9 plus captures all the colors correctly the sky in the background i think the blue is better on the s9 as well whereas it's a little bit too light blue on the p20 pro so for me the s9 wins on that now let's have a look at the selfie pictures in auto when the sun is directly hitting the lens of the camera so i just wanted to see what effect that would have and as you can see on the p20 pro especially at the bottom half of the picture it's got the light streak and it's very washed out you can see that the trees behind my face they very brightened up whereas in the s9 plus it has done a very good job capturing details on my face details of the background there's no light streaks although the sky in the background is better on the p20 pro you can see a little bit of the blue coming through Whereas on the S9 Plus, it's just a big white washout of the sky. There's very subtle differences, but for me overall, I do think still the S9 Plus has won on this one. Okay, so just having a look at the nighttime pictures in auto. So back camera, auto selected, the S9 Plus here taking a picture of my garden, as well as the P20 Pro. I can see that the P20 Pro is a little bit sharper. I can see all of the plant pots on the side, on the right hand side of my garden. Um, as well as my left hand side whereas the S9 is a little bit blurry it doesn't do as great of a job in very low lighting as the P20 Pro but then again Huawei have mentioned that this is the camera that can see in the dark and I do have to hand it to them they've done a very good job just in auto mode for that part now here's a picture of the front of my house down the street and this is also at night time cameras were on auto mode so I just want to see the difference it's a very subtle difference I don't think there's a lot in it Although I do think the P20 Pro again has done a very good job in that sense. If you look at the details on the bottom right hand side of the picture, you can see there's a bit of grass next to the fence. It's a little bit more blurry on the S9. It's more sharper and detailed on the P20 Pro. Overall, just looking at the cars down the street, there's not that much in it. I think they've both done a very good job capturing as much detail as possible. But for me, I would slightly have to hand this to the P20 Pro. And lastly, I wanted to check the difference between the auto modes on the S9 Plus and the specific night mode on the P20 Pro. So one thing to note is on the P20 Pro night mode, you have to keep the camera very still. It will take about five seconds for it to render the picture as it brightens up all of the details. So again, I've left the S9 Plus on auto, took a picture down my street. I can see that it's done a good job capturing most of the details. However, the night mode in the P20 Pro, I can see it's done an even better job capturing the details of the tree, big tree on the left, the details of the cars. There's not really any blurriness. If you look at the tree on the right hand side, there's more details and sharpness to that picture on the P20 Pro, whereas the one in the S9 Plus, it sort of blurs and blends in with the clouds as well, that tree. So overall, P20 Pro night mode is really good. Now, night modes are specifically useful for those that have maybe have tripods. They have to keep the phone very still as soon as they take a snap. It takes about five seconds to render the pictures, as I mentioned, and I don't see people using that very often. Most people will be happy with the auto modes as well as the night modes. Here's a picture again in auto mode for the back cameras. I've just caught a sunset. Just wanted to see how the colors of the sky will come out. So for me, I think the S9 Plus, you can clearly see everything in the picture. It's clear, it's bright, it's detailed. The P20 Pro, it has darkened a little bit. Mainly if you look at the differences in the road and the pavements, it's darker on the P20 Pro. Perhaps it's focused more on the sky. But I think overall for me personally, the S9 Plus took a better picture in this situation. Now, it's a personal preference. You might think the P20 Pro is a little bit better because it might be more natural of the lighting situation when you was there in person. However, when you do want to look at pictures, 
I think the S9 Plus has captured the colors a little bit better and I think it's overall something uh, people would prefer more. Now I also wanted to test the zoom levels on the cameras on both of these phones. So the S9 Plus here, I'm sitting in the park, it's a nice hot sunny day, there's loads of people out. So the S9 Plus only zooms in up to two times optical zoom, whereas the P20 Pro goes up to three times and five times. So here's a comparison between the two time optical zoom and the three time optical zoom. So if you have a look at that girl sitting in the middle of the picture, you can see there's better details in the zoom for the P20 Pro. Now for me, the P20 Pro has done a really good job, but also one thing I really liked about the P20 Pro is it detected that there's a lot of greenery in the background. So it automatically it sharpened and brightened up the green in terms of the background automatically so you didn't have to do that so i think that's really cool now let's have a look at the five time zoom compared to the two time zoom on the s9 and the p20 pro so that girl in the red was sitting possibly maybe 25 meters away now the five time zoom i would have expected it to be a little bit blurry if i was to zoom that close on the picture for the s9 plus maybe after transferring it to my laptop it would have been a little bit blurry Whereas the P20 Pro has done a very good job. It's captured a lot of details. It's not really blurred everything. It has sharpened it automatically itself as well. So I think it's done an awesome job at the zoom capabilities of the P20 Pro. And I think if you zoom in even further after you've uploaded your picture to your computer, then you would have still seen a lot of details in the zoom. So a great job by P20 Pro. Right, so having a look at the video comparisons, I wanted to test the optical image stabilization. Now looking at here, I'm uh, walking at the same pace. I have both phones in my hand connected to one handheld device. Now the P20 Pro, I think is a little bit more stable. You can see the S9 Plus is a little bit shaky whilst I'm walking. So the image stabilization on the P20 camera, I think definitely wins on this one. All right guys, so having a quick comparison, I can see that the Huawei P20 does take a lot better pictures in low lighting. Depending on when you change the apertures, it does do a good job. Um, taking pictures of various different situations in dark, bright and medium lighting situations I guess. In my opinion I'm going to be sticking with the Samsung for now. I think Huawei's done a really good job, it's catching up to the market, it's given Samsung a rivalry to, to really compete against again. I know Samsung have always been rivaling with Apple and they've always done a better job but in my opinion that is. so. Huawei have done a really good job in jumping themselves into that competition and taking really good pictures. In most situations, in probably about 80% of the situations, the Huawei P20 camera does win. I think it's not that far off from the Samsung camera. I think it's still close enough. It's still good enough for me to keep the Samsung. It's not something amazing where I'm going to be switching away from Samsung for the rest of this year, for example. But let me know what you guys think and what you prefer. Do you prefer the Huawei P20 or do you prefer the Samsung S9 Plus? Let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching guys. Please do subscribe. I've got some really cool videos coming up soon. And take care and see you next time. Oh, fuck.